Geothermal generators operate in a similar manner to normal generators in the sense that they can convert fuel sources into industrial craft energy units. Geothermal generators however only support lava buckets and lava cells as fuel sources. They can be a little bit costly to build, especially earlier in the game when such resources aren't easily available. Fuel sources can be placed into the lower box on the geothermal generator's interface, and items placed here are considered to be inside the generator's fuel queue. And as soon as fuel is available here, it will automatically move it to its internal fuel storage, which is shown by this bar here. The internal fuel storage can hold 24 units of fuel in either form, lava buckets or lava cells. Keep in mind that lava buckets don't stack and will return an empty bucket, and lava cells do stack but won't return anything. Lava can also be pumped in from pumps or tanks via most types of liquid piping. As soon as fuel is available inside the internal storage, the geothermal generator will begin producing energy. Energy can then be collected through placing rechargeable batteries in the top inventory slot, or by connecting some sort of electrical cable. When outputting energy via a cable, it'll output at a rate of 20 energy units per tick, which is considered to be low voltage, and can be handled with a copper cable or higher. Each bucket of lava or fuel cell placed inside the generator will each provide a total of 20,000 energy units. The geothermal generator can store a total of 480,000 energy units in its internal fuel storage and 1.28 million energy units in the fuel queue storage, although this can only be achieved when using a 64 stack of lava cells.